Hello CCS, it's good to be with you again this week on the Eagle Express. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since we had our last video and there's a lot of great uh, stuff down below in this week's Eagle Express. I want to apologize that we didn't have one last week. Uh, we were, had a teacher in service day on Monday, as you all know, uh, and we found out that we had our first case of COVID last week. So uh, that messed us up and uh, our plans got derailed a little bit um, last week. So I apologize for that, but there's a lot of good information for you. It's been a busy week and there's a lot coming up. So there's just a few things that I want to make a specific note of this week uh, on the Eagle Express of, of importance for you is to note that the Coventry Colloquium is underway and that will wrap up this coming week. Um, the uh, Sports Boosters have launched a Spirit Wear sale and that has a time limit on it. And so if you're interested in getting some CCS Spirit gear, I'd encourage you to do that. It's a good Christmas present opportunity. And if you order soon, you'll have those things in time for Christmas. Um, and then last uh, last thing I wanted, wanted to note, uh, which is down below, is that the PTO is going to be hosting a used clothing sale uh, coming up. I believe that's scheduled for November 23rd. So they need some volunteers, but also when you come in for parent-teacher conferences, you'll be able to shop for your kids that day. So uh, just to give everyone an update on the case of COVID that we had at CCS in our school, uh, so far we have no uh, suspicions of any spread within the school community. There have been no additional cases among students, staff, or parents reported over the past week, so that's great news. Um, and it's in line with what we're seeing across schools all around our region. Uh, a couple of counties recently released their data uh, in all of Bucks County, and they've had uh, over 400 cases in their students and staff there. There has not been one single uh, case of spread inside of a school. Uh, all of those cases were caught outside of the school. Here in Montgomery County, where we're located, they shared on Friday that they have 370 approximately uh, student and staff cases across Montgomery County. And in our county, there are only two examples where someone has caught it at their school. And so that's great news. It shows that schools are doing well, that schools are not a place that we need to be uh, concerned about our kids catching this disease because it's just not being spread in our schools. So that's really, really positive news. Unfortunately, as many of you are probably aware by now, the Montgomery County uh, Board of Health took a vote on Friday to shut down schools for two weeks, uh, starting on November 23rd uh, through December 6th, um, and force all schools in the county to move to virtual learning. I am opposing that effort, and so if you're interested in my opposition uh, and work that I'm doing, you can certainly check that out on our Facebook group, uh, Parents for In-Person Education. But I really wanted to speak directly to CCS about how that decision will impact us. And so at Coventry Christian Schools, we are going to spend the next couple of days talking with our staff about how that second week of the shutdown is going to look for our students at CCS because the first week we're already closed the whole week and so there's really nothing uh, that we have to worry about there um, but that second week we are scheduled to be uh, in in school and uh, so please watch we'll have a special announcement uh, this week about what we're going to be doing it's important to note that our preschool and pre-k programs are not affected by that shutdown order so we're able to continue operating our preschool and pre-k programs uh, once we return from Thanksgiving break. Uh, and over the week of Thanksgiving break, our extended care is going to continue to be open. And so uh, that's where we're at. We'll be communicating out to all of you in the next couple of days what that week will look like. Um, and it will probably look different for grammar school students and families than it's going to look for our secondary families. But um, I hope that you all have a great week this week. Let's enjoy one more week together before our Thanksgiving holiday. Also, please make sure you sign up for your teacher conferences on November 23rd. We certainly wanna talk with you and uh, answer any questions that you have and just check in and see how your kids are doing. So thank you so much. I hope you all have a great week and we'll see you again soon on the Eagle Express. Bye-bye.